Hello, my friends. It's Rebecca Overson here. Happy Wednesday. And I'm going live from my front porch. So you're going to hear birds chirping and possibly cars driving by and all kinds of things. So here I got my protein shake and I just wanted to just sit here this morning and enjoy this beautiful day that we're having in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, so today I want to talk to you guys about what do you do when you're in a funk? Um, one of my, I've seen this topic actually come up a few times and I think it's important to understand that most of the time with your business, you don't really have like marketing or it's not really business issues. It's mindset issues. <laughs> like the being in a bad mood or a disempowering state will tank you faster than anything because it robs you of your motivation and your productivity. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What are some of the practices that you have for getting your head back in the game when you're feeling a little bit low or, you know, unmotivated or discouraged? One of my favorite practices is just gratitude. And you just start by getting really still and just sit down and get present. Look at all the gifts around you. Look at what you, what you have. Look at what's supporting you. You know, um, hold on, I got to put my phone on. Do not disturb. I just remembered. There we go. You know, to be able to just sit, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm grateful for my mobility. I'm grateful for the fact that I have an iPhone that I love so much that helps me connect with people all over the world. I'm grateful for these beautiful trees. You know, I'm grateful for here You guys are listening to beautiful trees that I'm staring at here in my front yard. This is my front yard. It's so beautiful. How amazing that we have trees. You know, I've got a, a dear friend who's sustained an injury and is paralyzed from the neck down. And every day I think I'm so grateful I can just get up and walk. And I think it's so easy for us to get hyper-focused on like one little thing. The two or three or maybe five little things that aren't working. Like currently I'm having a lot of heartburn with my 12-year-old son. And it's really like bringing me down. It's making me really sad. And I feel like, you know, I can sit here and indulge in the sadness and I can, I can feel like, oh gosh, all these things are going wrong. But it's like that one little thing can bleed over into so many aspects of life and it just really doesn't have to. So I think it's been an important skill and tool for me to just stop. You know, when you're in a funk, like just stop for a minute. Just stop and sit down and just breathe and just get present and then start looking at everything that's right in your life. Start looking at all the successes you've had. Start looking at uh, the things that you're grateful for, the blessings that you have. And while there are literally hundreds and hundreds of these tools that we could go through, I think that that's just the simplest one that anybody can do anytime, anywhere, is just start practicing gratitude, thankfulness for what's around you. Breathe in the beautiful air that's around you. Listen to the birds chirping. Listen to the sun shining. And shifting your focus from a problem to what you're grateful for will literally change your brain. It'll change your brain chemistry. And you will start releasing hormones and endorphins and things that, that help you to feel good that will make you continue to feel good or start just start feeling better so I'd, I'd love to know uh, from you guys what are some other sorry <clears throat> my arm is getting tired holding my phone <laughs> I normally have a stand holding my phone and now my arm is getting tired um, what are some of the other things that you like to do I am I'm an artist and I love doing art and sometimes when I'm just like in a crazy headspace I'll pull out my art journal or I'll bust open a fresh canvas and start throwing paint at it you know, something just in a creative process just really helps me to to get out of the negative state that I'm in. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you do? What what helps you get out of a funk? Um, EFT is great. You know, tapping, journaling, writing, having an accountability partner, uh, meditation. Um, anyway, we just love to hear whatever resources you guys have so that we can share them with each other and can continue to lift and elevate each other. Okay. All right, you guys have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon.